I think the the annoying thing about consciousness is it, it's not publicly observable. Um, and that makes it utterly unique. Sci science is used to dealing with things you can't observe, but in all of the cases, you're, you're theorizing about things you can't observe to explain what you can observe, the data of observation experiments. It's only in the case of consciousness that the thing we are trying to explain is not publicly knowable. We know about consciousness in a very different way through being conscious. We're directly aware of our feelings and experience. It's a fundamental data point in its own right. So we've really got, I mean, that's first base with consciousness. It's just a very unique thing <laughs> in a scientific context. And because of that, there's limits to what you can establish ex experimentally. Um, yeah. You, you can't see it in the brain. You can ask somebody what they're feeling and scan their brains and you can correlate. I think that's all you can do scientifically, correlation. Yeah. Scan people's brains, ask them what they're feeling, mm. try and systematize and then try and extrapolate beyond humans. That's That's, that's all we can do. And that data just leaves open physicalism, panpsychism, um, dualism. People think physicalism, that's the scientific option. No, the science just gives us correlations. Yeah. And then we can just say, I don't know, you know, why is consciousness correlated with brain If you want to explain that, you've got to go beyond what the science can settle. Yeah. You've got to, is it, is it physical realities first and, consciousness emerges is it consciousness is first physical reality emerges are, are they both separate as the dualist thinks you get the same scientific data of correlations for all of those yeah. theories yeah. and that's annoying and i understand why it's frustrating i think we've just got to get used to the fact that you you can't settle all questions with with an experiment and because yeah. consciousness is not publicly observable so there isn't a test that can prove panpsychism, but there isn't a test that can prove physicalism. There isn't a test yeah. that can prove. So say you could say like my colleague, Peter Vickers, philosopher of science, because of that, we should just say, I don't know. I don't know. But don't say you're a physicalist. Why does no one say to physicalists, how do you test physicalism? No one ever says that. Yeah. They say yeah, yeah. to panpsychists. But anyway, that's my that's, answer. Not very really satisfying. But... 